folks, let's go pick some okra. Little chores over. I don't know if you can tell, but the uh, purple hole peas, three rows of them there. They're all blooming. It'll be long, we'll be getting some peas. Probably some green beans, but not gonna pick them. They just get the lawnmower out and mow them down. I'm gonna try to mow this corn down with a little farm all cup and a belly mower. It uh, worked in the past. There's still a few ears on there, but they're overripe. I'm not going to worry about them. I'm just going to cut them down. So let's see how this works. was that folks that was fun we'll come back to this a little bit later I actually went down through the tomato row had some weeds growing up that's fun let's do green beans these purple hole peas are starting to run all over the place
to start picking purple hole peas pretty soon. See a few ripe ones starting out there. Cantaloupe. I think the coyotes done found my cantaloupe. The vines are uh, broke. And I think I'm missing some cantaloupe. So it wasn't ripe. But coyotes don't care. So what else can we do to this old corn patch? Let's try, let's try tilling this stuff under. Not exactly a chop and drop. We're no till. But we're gonna we're gonna break that ground up. Trying to clean this old garden up a little bit. It's pretty dry. Those uh, stalks going to take a little while to break down. Then I'll run over it some more. Tomatoes, we're getting lots of tomatoes, but the uh, stink bugs and leaf footed bugs are. Uh, ruining a bunch of them. Okra is producing really good. Well, it's probably five foot tall or, or better. Purple hole peas are, are putting on. I just went ahead and mowed these green beans down. I quit picking them. And uh, it's getting pretty growed up. I ain't gonna save the seeds from them. I've got plenty more. But, uh, at least I cleaned it out where I can get onto this outside row of purple holes. Cucumbers are. They're still making, but I quit picking them too. There's a purple hole right here that's, that's ready. But uh, there ain't enough there for a mess. Maybe a couple of spoonfuls. Get some weeds in there that can get pulled. They've got the vines wrapped around them now. So that'd be, uh, be hard to pull them out. But the coyotes and none found my melons. They uh, come out here this morning. That fan's probably going to be loud. I come out here this morning and I noticed these vines was, was turned up. I get over there without stepping on them. Put some grass out here in the peppers. But these vines was twisted up and I've seen some were broke. So I'm sure there was a melon attached to it. I've seen another one out here a while ago that had, had some bite marks on it. I 
got one that's trying to turn. First one I thought I was going to get was rotten. It's like getting out here and stepping on these vines. Got one turning there. And I got the radio up here at my greenhouse, but the exhaust fan kind of drowns it out. That don't stop them coyotes. But this one here's got some bite marks in it right there. So it's probably fixing to grab it. Coyotes are a big problem here. Here's one of the binds that's been broke. that one <laughs> busy 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 got me a big old uh, sink full of okra I picked this morning got some uh, jars over here in the uh, water bath sterilize these jars over here kitchen's a mess we've been canning everything had to uh, can some corn got a little overripe on me two cases of it there Almost two cases of canned okra, canning some more of that. 